Bismillah, you're watching the mailbox here on Huda TV. We've got some good questions that just came in. I really want to jump on these before we run out of time. Uh, music. What is the position of Islam on the subject of music? Let's take that one first before we go to the next ones. What is music exactly and what are you talking about? Music is a very general, wide thing. We're talking about almost everything that is out there making sounds could be considered as music. Hmm? Isn't that true? Birds in the air when they sing and when we listen to the brook and the water rolling over it, people could say, well, that's all music to me. And are you saying that's all haram, forbidden? No, of course not. What was restricted in Islam is very clear. Understand this, Islam has prohibitions on some things and limitations on others, and then some things are totally fine if you want to do it. This falls in the area of some limitations. Music, in general, has an okay on it because sounds are okay. But specific things about music are forbidden in Islam and some things are frowned upon in Islam. One of the things, of course, is going to be a boy singing to a girl and they're not married. He's just, you know, hey, baby, I love you. You know, that's not going to work, okay? The same for the girl singing to the boy. That's not going to work. Certain words are totally forbidden, obviously. Then there's the subject of what about these musical instruments? Some of the things that they play, a lot of noise going on in all this uh, supposed synthesized sampler things and so on. No, that's not going to work either. However, some of the sounds, like in our program, when you hear it begin and end, these are acceptable because it's just the human voice being organized in a way for you to be able to hear it and associate uh, and make a connection between certain images and certain sounds. And this in Islam, inshallah, is halal, <laughs> permitted. But when it comes to the subject of making something haram and halal, that's even a bigger subject. And we want to avoid staying away from this idea of saying, this is forbidden and that's okay and this is forbidden and you mustn't do this and so, because maybe, especially the, the non-scholar, the one who's not really the imam, somebody just read a few books, maybe attended two or three classes, wants to all of a sudden pronounce this idea of what is acceptable in Islam and what's not. You have to be real careful there because there is a clear hadith about this, a saying of Muhammad telling us to stay out, stay out of the pasture of Allah, the pasture that he has for his uh, halal and haram. That is the hema, and stay out of that hema. Don't go there. Stay away from that. Music, look into it on our website. Check out the answers for this on our website called justaskislam.com. Right now, i got to get back to more of these emails here on the mailbox. See you next time right here on Huda TV, the mailbox. <laughs> Thank you.